How's the king and fellas? I'm Orosh and this is another episode of Yakuza 0 and in today's episode we... Well, we don't have to do anything really. Majima just said that he'll hit up the streets and that's what we're gonna do. You know what? I, when I was recording Yakuza Kiwami, I only had one save file and then when I lost footage of one episode I was like really pissed off because I just fucking lost footage of... I just had to replay the whole fucking game. Kom Komaki should be here. Fuck. Biker. There we go. Now what I was thinking that uh, I should do Streets of Rage when I'm done with Mega Man. But if I'm gonna record it tomorrow, I might as well like upload Streets of Rage as a... Like just every day, like, like those... Because it's almost fucking summer, it's pr practically summer already. And I had this thing going on where I was recording, uh, like, let's plays of a little bit... Like last year, last summer was Stardew Valley. Uh, the year before that was also Stardew Valley, because it's a long fucking game. And a year before that I was recording... Uh, what the fuck was this? Summer special before that... I had something. Uh, fuck. Maybe I didn't do that any. I can't fucking recall. Anyway, I was looking for a game that would fit something like Stardew Valley, where you know you don't really have to do anything specific. You just, if you want to, you can. You don't have to do anything, pretty much. But I would be like, oh, I'm gonna make up my own adventures, and I this. Here, I thought maybe I would do like Minecraft and Minecraft Dungeons at the same time. It would be cool, right? But then, the thing is, I got really shitty, uh... Like my recording fucking environment kinda sucks, and I thought maybe I would record something more simpler. So I thought of uh, LEGO Worlds. Like, that game is pretty much a sandbox. A sandbox as it gets. You don't really have to record any... F to do anything in that game. So I thought, maybe I would just like make 10 episodes. Let's say 10 episodes would be the limit. And whatever I happen to do in those episodes, that'll be it. Oh, you know what I had planned? Uh, let, let's fucking... I mean, I planned. I joked about it two episodes ago. But then I thought, no, that's actually not a bad idea. Check it out. We're gonna play uh, a Space Carrier. Okay, play it. I gotta find Mr. Shakedown and get my fucking money back. Entertain yourself hundred fucking times. Get away from my fucking phasers flies flying in my fucking room and hate them so fucking much. Check it out. You got space carrier. Yeah, okay, I get it. And what I'm gonna do <laughs> is, for example, cut out this part of the video and upload this at some Welcome different time Get ready. As, a, as a completely different let's play I mean like a gameplay and such out of space carrier so with that said can I like get rid of this demo no 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 get rid of it no I don't want to insert coins come on see because I like how you can full screen so you don't have to like because if I couldn't full screen I wouldn't fucking record the footage with this you could have told told that this was fucking Yakuza 0 <laughs> but hold on I'm gonna wait there you go how's it hanging fellas I'm Orosh and this is another episode of gameplay and such and in today's episode we're playing space carrier <clears throat> yes we're playing space carrier not at all playing a different game that has space carrier in it I'm not playing Yakuza 0 shut up <laughs> insert coin press options button I mean start Welcome button what are you talking about Get ready. Check it out, we're playing retro games. I ran into a fucking cloud. <laughs> nice, nice job. I'm ready, dude. I just fucking jumped into a cloud because I'm a dumbass. Space Carrier? I literally have nothing to say about Space Carrier. I never played this before. I don't really like it all that much. I don't like this 3D perspective. It's kind of distracting. I thought of doing this as a... I, uh, I don't know, I had this episode of gameplay and such where I did two games instead of one because I barely recorded any footage of those games. 
Because these games were such shit. Oh, fucking clowns, I sort of fucking got. They're good wars. It's an arcade game. Check it out, I'm flying forward. Looks like 3D World Runner, kind of. Yeah, so if you're watching this right now, right? Look, because this is my grand plan and I'm gonna explain what I did. You're watching this as a gameplay in such out of space carrier, but in reality this is actually cut out part of my Yakuza 0 let's play. So if you've seen my Yakuza 0 let's play, you'll be like, why the fuck am I... All of a sudden pretending like this is a gameplay and such. Well, that's my part, my plan. I'm gonna cut this out as a separate fucking video. Yeah, I call it lazy, call it genius. I call it genius, I don't know. How the fuck do I kill this dragon, piece of garbage? Get ready. Come on, I can't have footage like two minutes long. I killed the dragon, stage two. Isa, we're in a desert now. How the fuck does this dude even fly, by the way? He gets like a Koopa Troopa shell on his back. Did you notice? And what is he shooting anyway? Oh my god, these are enemies. I thought these were like environmental obstacles. Now that's terrifying. Fucking scary heads flying towards me. Jesus Christ. My tongue gets really fucking tired from pressing this fucking button all the time. Damn it, I've been exposed. I don't wanna quit the game. Now you know I'm not even playing Space Carrier. <laughs> Whatever, who cares? I had this plan of recording gameplays in such of older games, because I have so- oh shit, I have so many. And I could just simply record them on emulators. Ah, I guess it's the end of the episode, because I'm too lazy. Can I enter my name? Can I enter my name? F-G-H-I- oh my god, it's so fucking slow. It's- what the fuck, I can't even- PP what? PPN? Why the fuck did it enter name on its own? It's fucking stupid, what the fuck? Alright, I guess see you fellas in the next episode, bye. <laughs> like my uh, grand fucking plan of making videos within videos. Yeah, let's go do the fucking... Actually, fuck it, I'm gonna do outro on some different occasion. Alright Majima, we're done recording Space Carrier. Uh, then I have to look up fucking Space Carrier screenshots and edit a whole fucking video of Space Carrier now. <laughs> Whatever. I bet the Space Carrier episodes comes out in like such a far future that you won't even fucking remember that I made a fucking episode. That it's an episode taken out of a different episode. Huh? You think this is an oak pal? Hmm? What the fuck? Sounds pretty pissed, there's a fight going on down there. Oh man, my mom came over and she made fun of me. I'm gonna cut it out. Oh, he has a sword. What kind of ass clan goes in a raid with a big honking sword like this, you moron? Don't you got any daggers or guns? You know, normal weapons? You can see the appeal of a Chinese broadsword. This is why I was hesitant to sell it to you. Huh? Okay, looks cool. I mean, not this guy, I'll shoot this guy in a fucking... with a stick. You're making this about me? Awful cocky for a two-bit black market front. Whole point the business is giving your clients what they want. Yeah, I never understood, like, uh, businesses where they like, you are not worthy of our wares. Like, what the fuck, how do you run a business like that if someone's not fucking worried to buy something out of you. And I never seen anything like that in real life where you're not worried to buy something. You got the money, you can buy it. Like yeah you should you could feel a little bad about selling something very expensive to some guy who just wants to destroy it for a YouTube video for example. But you still should do it, you know, since he pays you and it's for sale. And if you don't wanna fucking sell stuff to a person not worried, why the fuck are you even selling it? I deal only with clients I respect. If you would approve you are worthy of my weapons, undergo my test. Oh? Test the hell the fuck are you about? 
I can't speak English. You and I will spar. Defeat me and you pass. I'm getting real tired of your high and mighty talk. Fine, you wanna fight? I'll take you on. See how you like your precious can opener when I'm using it on you. Indeed, that's the point. This is a test of your proficiency with a weapon. Heh. I ain't gonna feel sorry when you lose an arm or I straight up end you. You don't fuck. I love the music. Check it out, he kicked his ass. With a stick. Reminds me of a comic I had, uh... I never read too many comics, in case I've never been a fan of comics, but one I had was Star Wars. It was a Star Wars comic. And it was about Darth Maul. And it was basically explaining the backstory of how Darth Maul uh, got his double-sided lightsaber. He came to some planet uh, to study under like an old man. And he had a lightsaber. And the old man was like, you are not worthy, you are too angry, blah blah blah, you suck. And then Darth Maul was like, fuck you, I don't suck. And he tried to kill him with a double-sided lightsaber. And the guy was like, you're so predictable, I defeated you with a stick. And then he comes back later, does the same thing. Guy's like, oh my god, you haven't learned anything, and then he stabs him with the other side. And it's like, oh shit, I guess you did, and then he dies. I thought it was badass. Darth Maul is the best Star Wars fucking character ever. Even though in the movies he kind of looks like a little bitch. But in the comics, books, and the uh, Clone Wars... Then you know he's not a little bitch. He's fucking awesome. Uh, the hell are those moves with a stick? That's no martial art I ever seen, but he's got other dude's sword that like, look like a damn chopstick. Son of a bitch. You fail. Oh? Yeah, well, what I expect giving me a shit sword like this. This stuff you got is way better weapon. This is merely a piece of lumber. This sword you hold on the other hand is a masterwork of painstakingly crafted. What? The fuck? But apparently you were unfit to wield it. I think that I would ask that you do not return to my shop again. The hell with your damn shop. I hope it burns with you in it. Rumor said you were the dealer to beat. So I went to the bother of tracking you down and for what? You fraud. I'm out of here. Fuck. Beat me with a stick. Shit, I've just been staring. Don't want to get dragged into somebody else's dirt and dealing. I'm out of here. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I'm gonna go play Space Harrier again. Oh my god, it's Komaki and Oops. his iconic shoes. Oh yeah, we did run into him before, I forgot. Ah, Majima, curious meeting you here. Oh, it's you. Don't spook me like that, Gramps. I was merely wandering about, in search of a place where the two of us could spar un uninterrupted. That's so? Well, the Riverside's occupied at the moment. A real nasty cast customer at it. Well his name is Fei Hu, a local arms dealer, quite the master himself too, as long as a weapon rests within his hands. Mm hmm, what? You know that guy? Sayo. I knew his father for ages, back when he was... when he walked this earth. Checking on him was half of my reason for coming to Sutton Abori. As long as we all are here, why don't I introduce you? Yeah, I didn't ask for any favors. Oh, don't be so stubborn. This will be good for both of you. How do you figure? Besides, the time to s <coughs> the time to sneak off has long passed. It seems like who has been aware of your presence. <coughs> he looks scary, but badass too. Has a cool scar on his face. Apologies, Komeki-san, but I do not trust this man. He has a strange eye patch and a ponytail. He looks like a weeb. Why don't you? Go being stubborn on me too, delay no longer, and put him to the test. I can tell you already, this young man will most certainly pass. Say what? <laughs> Why the hell do I take, gotta take a test? I got no business with this guy's shop. Come, come, Majima. I saw that look on your face as you bore witness to their fight. A look of inspiration. God damn it, look at him, he's a fucking shit. Also, why are his eyes so red? And now your silence speaks volume of truth. This curiosity of yours is one of the keenest tools in your armory. Often fancy enough to call inspiration just a few dumb thoughts running about. Yes, but what if they were enough to match Fei Hui's skill? 
There will be less dumps, straight parts, and more akin to a full blown revelation. Damn it. Match him, I don't make that face. You look old when you do that. Whether you give that revelation life or, s or snuff it out is your choice. Care to at least give it a try? Uh, listen, I had a long ass day and I'm tired as a dog. Let's make this quick. I assume you have no objections? Feihu? Yes. I can't come up with more voices for characters, so they both sound the same. If you recommend him so strongly, very well. It is settled then. Now, what will be? The man is an arms dealer. He can produce, procure for you most of anything you might want. See, I thought in the game there's a fight style where Majima has a bat, and he permanently has a bat, it never runs out. And I thought maybe this guy's like a thing where you could upgrade the bat so it deals more damage. Like, for example, you could spike bat. But I don't think you can fucking upgrade the bat. It's just a normal bat that Majima happens to pick up. A baseball bat. I mean, I guess part of Majima's character is that he really likes baseball. So I guess it makes sense that he would use a bat for fighting. <laughs> but the thing, I, he likes baseball. I don't think he likes real baseball. I think he likes the batter cages. Where you just hit a ball flying at you. Oh, oh this should be quite an interesting match. Entertaining. Shit. Steady now, begin. Where's my... Uh, where's my fucking stick? I don't got it. I got a baseball guard bat. When mastering the strong defensive potential for a battle for a new guard using a weapon, you are less likely to be staggered by an attack. It's a bat to protect you, so fucking stay cool. Vicious attack. Come on. Ouch. I think he's more likely to attack you when you attack him. See, it worked. You Slugger's time to defeat Fei Hu and pass the test. One thing about Slugger's style is that it's annoying and that you, it's sometimes hard to use is that if you attack an enemy near a wall and you happen to take like a wide swing and you hit a wall then you stagger yourself. Which is the biggest downside of Slugger, which doesn't mean it's bad because of that, it's, I still like it, it's definitely better than Beast. I'm not a fan of Beast. I kinda wish I knew how to fuck to unlock Dra Legend style, maybe I would use that one. Cause Majima's Legend style has him have a knife. And he, run and he just leaps at people with a fucking knife and it's really cool. I think it's the same fighting style he has in Kokiwami too. I think it's really cool finishes in Kiwami 2. Honestly, I thought that Majima Saga DLC in Kiwami 2 would be longer and it would have like character progression, side quests. But now it's pretty much just go through a story and that's it. <coughs> I certainly did not expect you to use a bat so well. You're quite an interesting fellow. Just remembered using one back when I was running raids in the competition. I kind of improved since then though. Surprised me too. I knew you could fight, but I did not think a spar of the moment selection like that would get you against Fei Hu. Shows what I know. So, um, can I go home? Or do I have to stay here? What do you think of my bad work? Hey, are you Batman? <laughs> Ninja Baseball Batman. You passed with flying colors, of course. You are precisely the sort of person my business exists to serve. Your weapons shop, you mean? That's nice of you to offer, but I will... As you've seen, I ain't really interested in conventional stuff. I want baseball bats. <laughs> so much the better. I'm not a common dealer pawning of weapons I've scavenged. Oh, well, that's cryptic. What do you mean? Are you free at the moment? My shop is quite close. I would enjoy the chance to escort you there and explain exactly what it is we do. Uh, I don't really get what the fuck he does. Like, you send people, you give him money, you send his crew... To scavenge like materials for you and then from these materials he can make you weapons but I never fucking used this <laughs> I never gave a fuck like I don't know it's like why is yeah cuz I keep giving like fucking mini games and strange mechanics to it like these host club running thing Majima construction 
fucking real estate, all that shit. He, I mean, didn't hit any of that, did it? Did it? No, I don't think it did. You know, there were mini games, but they weren't like full-fledged, completely different fucking side bullshit like that. I, I like that. <clears throat> this is our shop, the Dragon and Tiger. Outwardly, a Chinese restaurant operated by myself and my wife. Yeah, this is my wife. Mm. Hello, I'm his wife. And you said it wasn't your average weapon store. What exactly is it then? Hi. Well, it's a weapon store and a restaurant. Pretty not average, right? Most of the products we sell here are meticulously hand forged by me. Bespoke arms, you might call them. Made to order, huh? So he ain't the arms trader, you are a smith. Is what you're saying. Precisely. Now, if I may, I would like to explain how it is I go about making weapons. At the Dragon Tiger, you can enlist a host of agents to look with weapons, gears, and other equipment. They can be hired to hunt down the following three categories. Gears, recipes, parts. Put the agent skills to use and gather the world's most powerful weaponry and equipment at your fingertips. I don't think you can use this, by the way. It's only magical. So you send these agents around the globe looking for rare materials and such. This is pretty different. Our goal is... Our goal in all of this is to develop a robust network with arms dealers the world over. But some agents work takes them far from civilization. To Atlantis. So basically you got these guys searching for treasure out in the jungle and shit. I'm all about that actually. I love Indiana Jones. Indeed, remote archaeological archaeology fuck archaeology fuck sites produce some of the most beautiful garbage. I fucking hate this. Why can't I fucking speak? Furthermore, customers who contribute past a certain level are given a special reward. Private arms lessons. Yeah, I guess it improves my uh, bad skills or some shit. Yeah, so I'm guessing that means you're holding back when you f when we fought out there. Yeah, he. Quite definitely was. Naturally, that was only a test. Heh, <laughs> you want slippery eel? Slippery eel? Like fucking. Sounds like a sailor would say something like that. Ah, uh, speaking of fish, I just remembered. I ain't ate and half starved to death here. You said this place is a Chinese spot by the, by the day, yeah? Give me that house special, would you? Ah, yeah, you're customer for the side of the business too. You wait to fix you a feast. Cucumber. Cucumber review. I like it. Ten out of ten. It's the best cucumber I ever had. Really good. Majima, there's a favor I would ask of you. What the fuck do you want now, you stupid old piece of shit? I don't need to tell you not to spread word of their business, but I also ask you to keep vigil over them. What's that? The happy couple in some kind of trouble? I cannot share the details now, but in time the shop may draw the ire of terrible foe. What that's supposed to mean? Nothing to worry yourself over just yet. I ask only that you drop by when you think of it. Perhaps by something? Send them out on a search? That sort of thing. Yeah, alright. I'm headed into the wilderness of train. Don't go letting that edge of yours dull either. I gotta find Mr. Shakedown and kick his ass. You know what, while we're here, we might check out what the fuck we can do with here. With this place. Oh, fuck. I got like a fucking allergy, I swear to god it. It's so annoying. Hey, who? We ran, of, we ran out of eggs again. You were supposed to be out shopping. Uh, sorry, a weapon customer stopped me to complain and I guess I got distracted. Oi. You guys seem busy, want me to come back <laughs> later? Oh, Majima-san, uh, how are you? I'm sorry you had to see that. <laughs> Hello, Majima-san. Anyway, back to eggs, Feihu. Best prices at the market next town over. <sighs> you're relentless. Alright, I'll be back with them <laughs> soon. Oh, while you're there, can you look for equipment for Majima-san <laughs> too? What? But I never done agent work. You want Fei Hu to do what? We told you about agents. Like treasure hunters, but find equipment and parts. Fei Hu, go find good things for Majima-san and make lots of money. 
Oh, she's supposed to speak with like broken Japanese. Like Fei Hu, go find things for Majima. Make lots of money. Oh. I, I don't fucking like that trope of a character not speaking English properly, but all they do is just not say like the first word of the sentence. It's like if Majima was like, this work really such good money? Do what exactly? Mm. See? See? This what we do, Majima-san. This is? She didn't say it is. Therefore, her English, I mean Japanese, bad. Right, what, are, what countries can I fucking send them to? None? None? Okay, cool. I can send them to Japan, I guess. Obtained types are bad. And I only got one person. Here, have 20. I don't know. 100,000 here ago. And he just flew away. <laughs> okay, search request done. Next time you choose agents and destination to search. Oh, and don't forget to. You can pay a little extra too. <laughs> extra funds motivate agents, get better things, and also come back sooner. Oh. A little tip to get him to work harder, eh? Makes sense, alright. Good luck, Feihu. Hi. Thank you. I will do my best. I'll contact you on your page when I return us, so you can come pick up what I find. Longhua? Hua? Longhua? Make sure to lock the door when I'm out. I'll be gone now. Okay. I forgot Majima also has a pager. Fucking pager. Seriously. Pager? GTA 3 had pagers. What do you think if, like, let's say, Rockstar and uh, Sega will, like, co cooperate and Rockstar will make a Yakuza game, but in their style, and then Sega would make a GTA game, but in Yakuza style? So it's like, okay, you're in, like, a ghetto or whatever, but you're not really have an open world like in San Andreas. You just have an one, like, closed location, and that's it. <coughs> hmm? What's this girl doing by herself? She's lost? <coughs> I don't know, let's ask her. Boy. Hey kiddo, where's your mom? Are you lost? You wanna come with me? Wanna meet Uncle Machima? Uh. No, I'm not. What the fuck? Creepy man? No, then what you standing around for all by yourself then, huh? You want me to beat the fuck out of you? No reason. <sighs> What's with this kid? She's doing it right. No talking to strangers, but it's dangerous here. Better send her back in, back in heat. He's a gun, little girl. Now you're safe. Listen, why don't you hightail it back to your mom instead of loafing around here? This ain't no place for kids. I got this fucking strange allergy. My nose, I can't fucking take it. Oh man, it's so fucking annoying. I can't fucking take my nose. I'm gonna go cut it off. I look like Voldemort. K, K, mate. Off with you then, you little shit. Kind of looked like she had something to say. Still, she ain't lost, and I don't make it home. Okay, just hope there's no troublemakers lurking about. Little girl, what the fuck do you want? I think uh, to trigger her to say what she wants, you have to enter this place. You have to make a let's play out of space carrier, and then exit. What if I made a let's play within a let's play? <laughs> oh man, I already made a video within a video. What's up? Nah, she ain't that. Oh, wait, okay, I just have to move one step away. Check it out, a little kid! Wow, I never seen a little kid! Holy shit, she's so small! <sighs> no, fool! Grab the kid! Shake the kid! She drops money, I think. Pretty smart, could be some nice cash in that little kid. Let's shake her. <sighs> yeah, here we go. Hmm, that's my pager. I guess I can't save the little girl, I gotta fucking run away. <laughs> Looks like Fei Hu's back from that equipment search. Wonder what he found. I gotta swing by the dragon and tiger. Took him like, what, one minute to find that? I thought he was sand flying all the way to the next side of Japan. That's something really nice for you, little girl. Come over here. Okay. Huh? I like nice things. You little bitch. <laughs> Aw man, you called me a bitch. See, what I tell you. Stop.
stop making friends. Everyone's an asshole in this city. Who the fuck are you? Her dad? Yes. I'm her dad. Huh? I think. It would be kind of funny if Majima had another arc, like uh, Kiryu and Haruka, where Majima also took care of a little girl and kind of raised her. Like if Majima was just fucking Kiryu, but in a different side of Japan. Stranger, then mind your own fucking business, don't get any ideas. Or we'll make sure you regret it. Next time you ought to take my advice and head straight home, kiddo. This is a dangerous town, full of scumbags. Uh? Scumbags? Nobody calls me scum. I just did. Hefe. No, wait, Hefe? I meant to say Hefe. No, I wanna use the fog style. Even though it would be a good idea to use. Check it out. Man, it's a long ass combo. Seen that shit? And I got a bat. Oh, come on, mate. Threw it in his fucking face. Nice. I fucking love throwing shit at enemies and then knocking them out. Yeah, look, we're sorry. We just wanted a kid. Give me a break. I swear to God, Majima, I thought she was a thousand years old. Good for nothing, weep. Thank you, sir. Sir, I'm only 24 and a half, you know. Anyway, as I was saying, why don't you fuck off? Jeez, it's so fucking weird to think that Majima's not really that much older for me in this game. But, you know what? It's a video game. I don't think this is... Well, maybe that's not true because there's a lot of people that are old and they look young and there's a lot of people young that look fucking old. It's not really a rule that someone that's 24 couldn't possibly look like Majima. <sighs> K something wrong? That's your favorite fucking letter, K? No. And what's up? The doll. What fucking doll? The book? I hate it too. The red chestnut, the squirrel. Chestnut, the squirrel? What the fuck? What is this? A Sonic the Hedgehog character? Yeah, it is. We're in a Sega game, so technically we can't have Sonic the Hedgehog characters in it. I like how there's no Sonic in this game, because Sonic wasn't a thing yet in the 80s. 88. Sonic was, what, 92? When they introduced Sonic. You want that? Yeah. I'm sure your dad will buy you one of... One if you ask nice. But you're my dad, what the fuck? What? Don't have a dad. Be my dad. Oh, sorry. Camp. It's okay. I'm fine. Still, no point hanging around here. You can't get in yourself, can you? It's okay. I don't need it. But it's so cute, I just like to look at it. Yeah, you're a strange kid. What the fuck is wrong with you? Alright, I gotta get going. See you never again, probably. Just fucking kidding, I'm gonna go get the chestnut. Red chestnut, uh, the squirrel. I'm actually curious, is this a Sega related thing? Or is it just a generic fucking character they have? Uh, that's not a chestnut, but I... Actually, there is a chestnut. It's in the back. Look, I want the karaoke bird. Why are all the toys in this fucking thing? They're just like shoved all at once. That's so fucking hard. Okay, fuck it. I don't want it. No, fuck off. I ain't doing this shit. Where's the red chest at the squirrel? There's one. Uh, but there's also Opa Opa. Last episode I was desperately trying to get an Opa Opa. Did I get it? No. I want. Ah oh, fuck, I just flipped it over. It's so hard to get. It's the hardest thing I ever did in a video game. Check it out. I got it. If I say I got it, then I got it. That's how it works. Shit. Alright, let's get the fucking red chestnut bullshit. I'm sick of this. 
Bullshit. Alright, let's head. Let's aim for the head. Hard to fucking see it all the way in the back. Increases the probability of me fucking losing it midway through the fucking trip. And the fact that I caught it at a, such a fucked up angle. No, there's no fucking way I'm gonna catch that. Oh, it's gonna be bad. I'm gonna spend the whole episode doing this. Kiwami, remember Kiwami? I think I was in one episode where I spent it entirely on doing this shit. I don't remember, but I remember there was a side quest uh, for a guy that really needed... Uh, like, toys from the UFO machines. And he asked you to do to catch them for him. For fuck's sake! Now I ain't never gonna get it. Fuck. Could've gotten these toys when I was... Playing it before. That's a smart thing, I could've actually done that. Get the chestnut. Did I got it? Oh my god, I'll catch it by the boots. That would be pretty funny. Yeah, I think it's impossible to get it now. Great. Let's try getting this one then. This one seems a little closer, actually. And there's another one if I fail it. And it seems like failure is my second name. So I got Kiwami to... Oh no. Maybe yes? Don't drop it. I got the red chestnut. Swear to god, if that's not the one. I got it. I did it, everyone. I got the red chestnut. Let's give it to the little girl and then visit Dragon and Tiger. What, you still staring at the chestnut? Yeah, what the fuck is up to you, huh? I'm gonna stare with me? I have no one of those chestnuts. Maybe I should give it to her, it's not like I caught it specifically to give it to her, I don't know. I'm gonna keep it, I have a collection. <laughs> Fine, here, take my chestnut, I loved it so much, but I can give it to you, I guess. You handed over your beloved chestnut, the one and only. Wow, it's a red chestnut, the squirrel, it's adorable, it's so cute, look at her. Yeah, well it ain't exactly my thing, so why don't you keep it? <laughs> why don't you keep my beloved chestnut? Really, thank you, sir. I never got a present from anyone besides my mom before. Best day ever. That's so. Well, maybe I should meet your mom and then I could be your dad. Well, glad you liked it. Now will you get on home? I love that her name is Doll Girl. It's not even a... She doesn't even have a fucking name. Yeah, I'm gonna tell my mom all about it. Thanks, sir. Bye. Oh, Majima's such a good person. What could possibly be the thing that happens to him to turn him into a psychopath in the next game? Well, I'm gonna already tell you, nothing. Nothing turns him into a psychopath. He chooses to be one. Which is the most interesting, I think, transformation of a sane character into an insane character I ever seen. Because he just chose to be insane, instead of actually went insane. Which means that it, if you play the, you know, next games, Majima's not really insane. He just acts like it. We get equipment search results. Visited an old man. Took some pictures. And caught in crossfire. Oh shit. Success! Mission went uh, reasonably well. And I got a bag? I got a dagger and a steel. Here can receive the equipment, item recipes, parts or assets, blah blah blah. Okay. Equipment and parts. Not bad for Fei Hu. I'm not a professional agent, but next time we will call on one of our agents for that network. I'll continue looking for more agents as well. I hope to expand our network to get better information on powerful equipment and acqu acquire more resourceful agents. As you might imagine, the more valuable the equipment, the harder it is, it is to get it. I don't understand why they had to run it in such a... 
hidden way makes sense, I guess. If you got one of a kind weapon, and you're gonna wanna sell it to some agent guy. In those cases, the agents can bring recipes with information on how to create a replica. I can then recreate them, item on my workshop. There's a cool thing, if you visit Kiwami Bob, he gives you really rare parts. Just because you visit him. He gives you like top quality parts. And it makes me curious, maybe I can actually already craft something really good if I have all that cool shit. Okay, cool, I got driftwood. Thanks for all these shitty parts. Cursed handcuffs? What the fuck? There should be have like four on them, like cursed, quote unquote. You can find parts at the regular shop too. Look around in somewhere, fuck it. Okay, how about the crafting thing? I got a lot of parts already, right? I sh shut up, he forgot the eggs because he's a dumbass. Oh, you know what I forgot to check? What? What's? Ah, oh, fuck. I'm like cutscene still. Wonder how Feihu and Long are doing. I'll drop and see them later. I guess I could. Equipment. Look, I got a shotgun. I got a crowbar with like a shit ton of damage. I got a dagger. I got a revolver. I got sardines. I got a dagger. I got a sword. I got a dagger. I got a pole. Wait, what the fuck? It's a double-sided lightsaber. <laughs> I was just talking about Dark Maul in this episode. And then there's uh, items. Okay. I wasn't sure what items I had in my equipment actually. Because I never checked them before. Sub stories. As you can see, Goro Majima has way less sub stories than Kiryu. We already did 10 of them in Kiryu. That's uh, fine. Okay, where's my objective now? My objective now is to go to my house. Let's go to my house, or, better idea, fucking get stuck on something. Uh, here's the idea, beat the shit out of those guys. Nice. Oh look, someone replenished my health for some reason. I don't even know when that happened. And we're just gonna finish the episode right here next to the safe point. Because I feel like this episode is... Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Hello, lady. Here we go. See you fellas in the next episode. Bye.